Hello, and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson, and the trash trucks have gone, so now I can do this voiceover. We're going to do a really quick tip today. Uh, if you have unmounted stamps, they're a great way to save money, and I just want to show you a few ways how to use them and have a giveaway. I stopped by the Impression Obsession booth at Stamp Away a few weeks ago, and they were selling these containers full for $5. I already shared some with my friends, so that's why this is emptier. You need some easy mount foam mounting sheets and some, I use the Tim Holtz scissors because they are Teflon. I picked an easy stamp to cut around because, well, to save time. Um, so you just draw around and make sure you're doing it on the side that it is a reverse because you're going to put this on the back. So I didn't the first time. And now you just are going to mount it. It's pretty simple. I only go part of the way and roll down. That way if you get something squee-hawed, you can fix it. It sticks. It's done. So you press it down and then you just trim off the sides. I kind of angle it in a little bit. But as you can see, it's really easy. It takes a little longer to do the the more intricate images, but I store them in just notebooks. I feel that the simplest is the quickest and I don't have an elaborate system. I just have a notebook. This one happens to be seasons and holidays. And I need to put some more in. I have some loose in there. And all I do is I just stamp the image on the front of the page and then simply mount it to, I don't mount it, what am I saying? I stamp it to the front of the page and then I just stick the stamp in behind. I have laminated some sheets of paper so that the cling will stick on it. Isn't that a cute little box? I'm gonna to have to use that present on something. So all I've done is just real simple filing. There are probably people that have, you know, wonderful, intricate systems, but the more time you spend on organizing, the less you get to craft. So that's how I keep my stamps that are unmounted. Now how to use them? Well, the MISTI tool is great. Now since it's a foam stamp, you want to pull out the black foam pad in the MISTI because this also works for other kinds of stamps, but the foam is thick enough you don't need that pad. And then you just stamp it like you would a polymer stamp. And the cool thing, of course, about this is, is that this is an unseasoned stamp. I did not take the time to season it. So the image isn't perfect the first time, but that's why you have a stamp positioner. So you can re-stamp it. And I'm using Gina K Amalgam Black Ink. I, I really like this ink. I've ordered a couple other black inks and I have a few other black inks and I'm going to do a comparison here shortly. So look for that video. Now we're going to go to the Tim Holtz positioner. You pop off the lid and you'll see one side says clear and the other says rubber. And you want the rubber side and that allows for the foam backing. And then all you do is just pop it in there lay it where you want to be. I don't know why I'm worried about it being dirty. We're just having a little example here. And you just lay it down and stamp away. Unmounted stamps generally are a lot less expensive. Even if you buy the cling mount, it's still going to be cheaper. And they store a lot thinner than big wooden block ones. And the, the easy mount, it, it takes time but I do it while I'm watching television. So it really, you know, it goes fast and I don't, I don't mind cutting doing those. So now the, here's the Fisker stamp positioner. This is an older thing. And all you do is you just put your stamp on the page and then you just push down where you want it to be. And then we have, you just stamp it up like you normally would, but this gives you an idea if you don't have the other positioners, you get to put it on the page. You can make sure it's straight. I straightened it up with the grid on my mat. 
and just pushed it down. And those are about, I don't know, seven, eight dollars. So that is a, a reasonable way to uh, do things. And then last but not least, it just will stick on a plain old acrylic block. If you lose your stick, all you really need to do is wipe it clean and let it dry and it will stick again, you know, pretty much forever. So I'm going to stamp this again. And I don't know why I'm fooling around with this, but anyway, that is my little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Now for the giveaway. I'm going to give away a $20 gift card to scrapbook.com. It's going to be a raffle copter drawing that way I know it's fair. And I hope you'll go to my Facebook page or to my blog and enter. Have a wonderful day. I hope you have time to craft. I have a couple of other videos here for you to watch. Please consider subscribing, liking and commenting and sharing with your friends. I really appreciate it and I hope my videos are, help are, bleh, are helpful. Have a great day. Bye-bye.